Uh, hi, today we are going to see web methods web secure MQ adapter. In on premise web method environment, we used to have a lot of adapters like uh, SAP, MQ, and you have AS400 adapter, SAP adapter. So, here uh, we are going to mainly talk about today about the web sphere MQ adapter. Similar to other adapters, adapter is like a resource uh, which using which we can connect to any resource. So, it's like adapter. Uh, so we, even though we call it as adapter right it's like a connector and uh, it is basically helping us to reach to the that particular target system so here mainly uh, we are going to see mq adapter but high level it works similar to other adapters because every adapter runs on top of wmart runtime uh, so this is also runs on top of wmart runtime and uh, here uh, we are going to see uh, today uh, how to send the data to web mq and also later we are going to see how to receive the data from MQ as well. So at high level, uh, if you see the right side, that's where IBM MQ is there, which may be uh, your uh, WebSphere MQ manager, which is running in IBM server or standalone, you have a WebSphere uh, MQ as well. So wherever it is, we can use this WebSphere MQ adapter to talk to that particular system. So how do we connect and how do we send it to that MQ? So basically, we need to create a MQ connection in the MQ adapter. So in the connection only we can configure all the connection details like uh, the IBM MQ host name and port number, username, password and also and also we will specify the queue name as well. Normally the, these queues and all it will be available under the queue manager. So you have to specify the specific queue manager where your queue is available as well. And uh, once you have a connection detail configured and it is enabled which means you are able to connect to that particular MQ and then uh, on top of that we have to write adapter service so in that adapter service we will use that connection and then in that adapter service we will use some specific template which is called put and then using which we will send the message to IBM MQ so adapter service you can write a wrapper service flow service so once the mapping or data is ready you can call your adapter service to send the data to IBM MQ so now we will see little more in detail so when you create a connection right as I told when you send the document to MQ you need to create a connection first and it mainly requires a MQ host name and port number so default port number is 1414 and if you have if they have multiple queue manager they will have uh, similar ports like 1415 1416 and then they create many other ports as well each queue manager will run in a specific port and then the queue manager name is name is required so this is basically if the web CS side right if I they wanted to group all the relevant queues into specific queue manager then they can create a queue manager and then under that they can create many queues and then there is a service connection channel which will be default I will show it in the this one so here if you see this is the default server connection channel and which we need to configure maybe some other team if the MQ team is customized something then they will share the detail as well most of the cases this will be our server connection channel which we need to fill it in this particular place so here we fill the queue manager name host name port name server connection name and there will be username and password to connect as well to the queue manager and then finally you have a queue name to specify here as well and when you create a connection always you create in a specific package and don't combine with your actual flow service or adapter service so that it will be easy uh, to maintain it so because when you go to the next environment the connection credential will change so it's better to create in that specific package so that it will be easy and also whenever you want to move that connection pack package across through deployer don't use it so you manually create it because each environment will have a different credential or different setup and then username and password and queue name and once you oh, finally first initially you connect with that queue name and then once it's successfully established right then you can open that one and then if you click the find queues if it is able to successfully establish the connectivity to the mq then you will be able to see this uh, queue name list right it will show us a pull down or select box where you can see list of queue which are available in the particular queue manager so if you don't want to browse and see and select it you can directly give the queue names here as well so this is first step we are creating a connection name and then we have to create an adapter service how do we create an adapter service so we need to go to the designer and uh, you just go to your package explorer and select specific package and click the create new adapter service and then you select the adapter because once you create a adapter service it will ask which adapter you need to 
create this service it could be sap it could be as funder it could be anything so you have to choose here web sphere mq adapter and then once you select this one you will just click next then it will ask for you to select connection because you can have n number of connection each connection can point to any queue uh, or any servers uh, or any queue managers so you have to choose the appropriate connection where you have to send the data to then once you choose the mq connection then you click next and then it will ask what do you wanted to do with that particular connection right so basically here i wanted to put the message to queue that you have to select this put service template option and then you click finish so now adapter service got created so once adapter service is created so you will be able to see the adapter service name so mainly you go to this mq md header tab and then you just add this input field name message header format equal to mqstr so basically we are specifically specifying the data type here i wanted to send the data as mq string format and then this is the top one whatever you see right that is the input and below one whatever you see output and that output you by clicking this icon right and once you click one icon it will list only one fields when you select the second row right so it will fill all the rows which are applicable in the mq output so basically you will pass some input and then it can give these many outputs as well so whatever output is required you can select it better to select everything and then you click save button and you will be able to see what is the input so this message body right so whatever the third one that is a input so that is where you have to map your message and then once you successfully send right you will be able to see this reason code right which is coming as zero and then you will be able to see all the output parameter we have selected those and all it will come and then uh, so we have created a connection first and then we have created adapter service now then we have to create a flow service and we have to map message body and also uh, if you see the connection name right this also you can override it so you wanted to use a different connection for different environment so you can take that from the config and you can map it there as well and then uh, once the message is placed successfully the reason code will appear zero so basically i have used i have created an adapter service used a put template and i have used the connection to drop the message so i could see this is my output and then it is also saying put date and time as well which is today 11 december 2022 and, the, and also it's saying the timing as well and this way you can send the message to your mq so what we have seen in the first slide right so we have created a connection and we have created an adapter service using a put template then we have used a flow service to call adapter service and adapter service using a put template it is used the connection detail and then finally it send the message to ibm mq so once you send the message successfully to ibm mq you will receive a reason code as zero so this way you can send the message to ibm mq i'll go to the next slide so this is mainly how will you receive the data from mq so for example the source which is a mq which plays some messages assume they have sent some order messages which is there in this particular queue how do i receive that message so what we need to do we need to create an adapter listener which in turn it will point to connection because it also needs which ibm server i need to connect or which queue i need to connect so those kind of details will be there in the connection only and then this adapter listener it keep on listening to that queue based on the connection detail configured and then whenever there is a message it will receive it and it will publish a adapter publishable document to our universal messaging or broker so based on the messaging layer which you have it will publish to the particular messaging provider so once it's published to universal messaging it's like a normal publishable document you can use a trigger to receive the document or subscribe the document and from there you can invoke a flow service so once you invoke a flow service then you have a entire data whatever you have received from ibm mq so here what we are doing we are creating adapter listener from the mq adapter page using a connection detail and which is listening to this mq and whenever there is a message coming to the specific queue it receives it and internally it publishes the messages in a adapter publishable document format and then it is coming to universal messaging and once it is there in universal messaging our is can subscribe through the trigger and then it can invoke a processing service which is your flow service and from there you can process your the data which you have received it so now we will go a little more detail from the next slide so we need a connection detail so which i have explained in the initial part as well so i'll skip this one so mainly now we need a listener so when you open the 
MQ adapter page, you have a connection listener, listener notification. The second link is listener. So you have to click this configure new listener and then it will show two types. So here you use single queue listener service. Basically, you are going to subscribe from one single queue. So you select this option and then uh, this is the listener screen. Okay, so in this listener screen, you don't need to fill these details and all. Okay, so what you have to fill it the mainly the top section where it is asking a folder name listener name and connection name so here you will choose your appropriate connection name which you have created in the previous screen so the connection only it is having a details about your host name the ibm q host name port q manager name username and password and also its queues so q name so basically we are using a connection from the listener to receive the message so the listener once you created right we can enable it so so that so the here once you save the listener right once you fill these details with the connection detail and click save listener your listener is created now so basically what we have done now we have created a connection we have completed the listener part so now we will see how to make this adapter publishable document right so that is what we are going to do so we have completed connection listener so now we are going to see how to publish a adapter listener notification document for that we have to create an adapter notification from the designer so you go to your package right click new and then you choose adapter notification then it will ask mq then you choose a mq adapter then you choose this template fspr mq asynchronous listener notification basically whenever i have received the data whenever i publish it right i just want to do happen everything asynchronously so that is why we are choosing asynchronous listener notification and uh, it will ask for you to select the listener name and you just click finish to create the adapter notification so when you create a so here we have chosen the listener name which we have created in the previous page so initially we created a connection and then we create a listener that listener we are using it in a adapter notification so after you choose the asynchronous listener notification it's going to ask you what is the listener name so we have given a listener name and then we have created it so once you create the adapter notification internally it also creates a publishable document so once it's created you open an adapter notification and you go to this last tab which is the adapter settings there it will ask you how do you want to publish a document whenever you receive a document how do you want to publish it do you want to publish it to the messaging provider web method messaging provider or through jms provider because the universal messaging or broker act as a normal native messaging as well and also jms op option as well here i choose web method service pro web method messaging provider which will act as internal is publish right without a jms it will use it and if you wanted a JMS way of pubs up, then you can select the second option. So now we have created a adapter notification as well. So initially created a connection, listener, and then adapter notification. So now uh, we have to go to MQ adapter page and in you have to click the listener notification. The listener notification is the third link. So for example, if you see here, right, connection, listener, and listener notification is the third link. You have to click that link and uh, it will show the notification which you have created and you have to enable it so once you enable it we are good we are good to receive the message so now after that once you receive a what so far what we have done is your listener is listening to the message and whenever there is a message it will publish a adapter notification document but we didn't subscribe it so what we need to do we have to create some native trigger to subscribe the publishable document so in this one you will choose a adapter notification publishable document so once you subscribe the document you will also invoke some flow service right so once you invoke a flow service your data will come to your flow service and uh, the other option is if you published in the previous screen to your jms queue right so if you choose this option jms provider and you specify jms queue then you have to create a jms trigger to subscribe the particular queue to process that message so this way you can subscribe or listen any messages from the ibm MQ. so what we have done we have created adapter listener to listen for IBM MQ message. So when we create a listener, we use the connection also. And then once the message is listening, we need to publish that as an adapter publishable notification document. For that, we have created an adapter notification. And then now we are listening it and we are receiving a message and publishing as an adapter notification document. Then we are enabling the adapter notification document after that we have to subscribe it in order to process the document so that is a normal trigger only so you create a normal trigger to subscribe it and process the message further to your downstream system so this way you can subscribe the message from the or receive the message from your ibm mq using ibm using websphere mq adapter 
I'll move on to the next slide. So mainly we have understood now how to create a connection, listener, adapter notification, adapter service, everything, right? So basically we know now how to send the message to MQ and also we know how to receive the message from MQ. So what are the different interview questions asked during interview for MQ adapter? So basically they will ask uh, what is the default port they use in MQ adapter which is 1414. And what are the different reason code generally we get it from MQ. So when it is successful you will get 0 and uh, in if any maintenance is going in the IBM MQ side and if they have shut down the Q manager then you will get 2538 code and if it is any permission error you will get 2035 and if there is a queue is full for example you are sending the data to some specific queue and then the queue is supposed to receive 5000 messages and uh, based on their configuration if they have already received 5000 then we will get some queue is full message which is 2053 so whatever the error code or whatever the port I am talking about so everything is IBM WebSphere uh, AS400 MQ and which package we create a connection so normally we create a connection other than where we have our flow service adapter service it should be a separate package because we will not take as part of our build so whenever you wanted to create a connection you will go to the each environment and create the connection because each environment these details will vary so that's why we will not include as part of our build so what will happen if our connection is disabled for example you are trying to send the message through using your adapter service to the target MQ but your connection is disabled due to some issue okay for example somebody is disabled it so then what will happen so it will throw on failure so you will not be able to send the message to your IBM MQ and how many connection we can create in MQ adapter so you can go to your IS page and you can have n number of connection you can create and there is no limit for it and uh, if listener is suspended message sent by MQ team so for example the source is AS400 which is placing a message into IBM MQ but ESB side or web method side the listener is in suspended state what will happen to that message shall we uh, so will we lose the message or what will happen so basically as we are not listening basically it's our side suspended so it's not basically listening to that particular queue so the message will be still will be there in IBM MQ so when we reconnect again right we can able to pick it up so for example the source is sending a message and another case assume our IS is down so what will happen to the message so whenever our IS is up our listener also will up and it can go and subscribe all the pending messages from IBM MQ so this is the main advantage of using a pub sub mechanism uh, so publisher will not know which who is my subscriber right so they will publish it and the messages will be there so whenever the subscriber is ready and they can con come and consume it so this way we will not lose any kind of messages there so if it is a web service if the receiving and the, the services are not running we will lose the messages but here whenever the subscriber is ready and they can go and subscribe the message and what are the different status available in the listener so when you create a listener right so you will have option to enable the listener suspend the listener and disable the listener and how do you delete the connection or listener so basically um, so once you created the connection you want to delete it for, for example you don't want to use it so then what you will do is uh, you can uh, disable the connection so you have to go to the disable state then you will be able to see this delete icon appears there where you can click and delete it so that's not only for the connection so listener also it's the same behavior so you have to disable it then you'll have option to delete the listeners as well thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye